according to the Buddhist philosophy, uh, we should lead harmonious with other uh, uh, form, uh, life form around us, our environment, our natures, uh, the, the beautiful fauna and flora we, we have around us. The ancient religion of Buddhism has been preaching the virtues of a natural and harmonious existence for over 2,500 years. And here at the Maribyrnong Valley west of Melbourne, a passionate monk is turning the Quan Min Vietnamese Buddhist temple into an inspiring model of environmental sustainability. The Buddha had taught about our gratitude toward parents, uh, friends and teachers uh, to society and country. But the most important is also uh, the environment. Buddhists believe that it is their responsibility to help care for those less fortunate around them. And so every week, they provide here a free banquet for hundreds of locals. Very fresh vegetable uh, meal, vegetarian, pure vegetarian. All this free tucker used to create 4,000 litres of green waste a week, or about 35 standard wheelie bins that went straight to landfill. This commercial one farm is uh, 20,000 litres and it will break down all these uh, uh, green, green waste within uh, days. The Quan Min Worm Farm works just like a worm farm at home, only on an industrial scale. Veggie scraps and green waste are processed with filtered grey water from the kitchens. Once the worms have done their work, the leftover nutrient-rich liquid is mixed with the worm castings and then put back into nature, spread around the temple gardens and the surrounding valley. We are just one life out of many other life forms. The quality of our life depends also the quality of life around us. So our environment is uh, very important to our very, very quality of life. So protecting the environment means also protecting our life. After the break, it's not just Buddhists who are reducing their landfill, as we show you how a simple worm farm and compost system can make your house greener at our backyard revolution. I've got my team here. They're keen as mustard to give me a hand. So what do you reckon, guys? We get started? Yeah! For the past five weeks, I've been on an odyssey to turn this typical backyard in the suburbs into the garden that I believe every Aussie home should have. The Tembaleskis are a big family, with four young boys and a baby sister. On a single day, they can produce up to two and a half kilos of green waste. And it's part of my plan here to turn what's previously been going to waste into a useful resource that'll help this garden thrive. This week on the Backyard Revolution, we're gonna set up both a composting system and a worm farming system so that we can start to deal with the waste generated by the Tembaleski family. First step, is to set up this worm cafe. Hi, and it looks, Hi, guys, Hi, how are you going? I got my team here. They're keen as mustard to give me a hand. So what do you reckon, guys? We get started? Yeah! Worm farms are a great way to dramatically speed up your composting process. <laughs> when you're setting your worm farm up from scratch, there's a few basic steps that'll help you to get the best results. OK, Yanni. First up, you need to build a home or base layer for your worms to live in while they get established. This is simply some compost or potting mix and a thick layer of special core fibre or bedding mix. Composting worms are a little different to the ones you'd normally find in your garden. They love the rich environment of a compost heap, but have to be kept moist in order to thrive. Now you can get can of worms like this, a thousand worms at your local hardware store or nursery. And that will get a system like this going in a few weeks. Add on the second tray with a little more compost and some food scraps and you're in business. After that, look at this, 
It's just like bedtime. <laughs> we put the blanket over the top. Good night, worms. <laughs> a few weeks ago in the revolution, I set up three amazing new water-efficient wicking garden beds that water plants from below, not above. I coughed and the water's coming. Oh, fantastic. Well, today, I'm going to take these up a notch and show you how to set up a worm farm, not just next to your veggie patch, but in it. This here is a mini worm farm that's going to go into each of the wicking beds. The purpose of the holes is simply to let moisture and worms pass freely in and out. Like our worm farm, this serves the same purpose. We put this down into the garden bed and put some compost and our food scraps in there with some worms. Then the worms can move freely in and out through the holes. Best of all, it's another place that we can deal with all of the Tembaleski's kitchen waste. Because the Tembaleski's are a big family producing heaps of food scraps, I'm also going to help them set up a composting system. Oh, oh, oh. oh guys, you're here. Oh, it's oh, time, oh, it's oh, time oh. for our compost <laughs> masterclass. Oh, cool. Are Let's you get ready? Yeah. Then. All right. Now, there's about six steps we need to do to make a good compost. All right? So we've got our little compost bin. Yep. yep. First thing to do is we get some dried leaves and twigs the kind of stuff that you can just collect off the grass. It's vital to get your composting system off to a good start. And it's a bit like baking a cake. You need all the right ingredients in the right proportions. First of all, put in a thick base of leaves, some broken down green waste, plain healthy garden soil, chicken poo or pellets, and a good spray of water. Your compost will have all the nutrients it needs to begin breaking down your food scraps. Finally, Give your compost a good stir once a week to add some oxygen and always cover with wet newspaper or a wet hessian sack. If you'd like to find out more specific information, you'll find all you need to know on the web at sbs.com.au forward slash costa. That's it for the Odyssey. Hope you've had as much fun as we've had. Did you have a good time? Yes. All right, there's one last thing to do. Put the lid on. <laughs> Next week on The Odyssey. Take it away, Victoria! <laughs> An organic soil brother from Orange. <laughs> the secrets of the perfect sustainable drop. Oh, smell that. Oh, oh that's rich. Yeah. <coughs> and the Waldorf Astoria of chicken coops. We're going to build a new playground. Not for the kids, but for the new residents that will be taking up this space shortly. <laughs>